Oh, but Labour Congress said they thought turned deaf for government matter. Said they don't want to hear anything again from a Monday, third of June. Na indefinite strike. Nobody go fit back there. Ah, bon bon leke. O simi leke buke. And they were ready. Ah, yes, you uh, you remember that we had a meeting on Tuesday. So in that meeting of Tuesday, it was deadlocked. Mm -hmm. So when that happened on Tuesday, so we told them that until they renew their mandate, that is not okay for us to be on the table without each side moving. That, okay, that they should go and renew their mandate, that whenever they are ready, that they should get back to us. So our thinking was that uh, they were ready when they sent out an invite that we should come to the meeting today. So we got to the meeting today, it was all stories and stories and stories. And even in that meeting, as it has been characteristics of the, of the governors, the six of them, they were in there, the minister, uh, out of the three ministers that are members of that um, uh, committee, of the chapter committee, only one, the minister of uh, state labor uh, was there. And she's a conciliator. Uh, she's a conciliator naturally, trying to bring both sides together. So there was really nobody there from the federal side to make a substantive offer. So on the table today, there was no offer when made at all. When you said there was all. nobody on the government side, you'd expect that the minister, the minister of state uh, for labor, Nkiruka Onyejocha, Shoot. Yes, the way it normally works, the, the way the system <coughs> normally works, the Minister of State Labor is the Vice Chairman, according to the law, the Vice Chairman of the Tripartite Committee. So the Minister of State Labor ought to be a conciliator, naturally. Uh -huh. So it is um, maybe the Minister of Finance, <coughs> Minister of Economic Planning, who are members, so 20 members of this committee, uh, they are the ones who ought to make the offer. But irrespective, uh, even if they had asked the Minister of State for Labor to have made an offer, mm -hmm. I think she would have been able to make an offer but on ground today even one cover was not added we now started asking them okay we have asked you to go and do your analysis uh where are the analysis how will 60,000 take somebody home come and show us they they couldn't present anything we also asked them what was the value um bring the value of 18,000 naira and the value of 30,000 naira bring it to the present value of today there are formulas that are used in doing that uh, they did not also do that okay we're not told them at all that okay we will remain in this meeting that as patriotic nigerians because our ultimatum expires today that we don't want to leave this meeting without going back to our members and say okay government has up the offer right. that's so what we will do is that let us remain here you go and meet mr president if you don't have anything to put on the table go and talk to mr president even if it's midnight we will remain here in this meeting but they kept uh, telling us that uh, they, they, to, to get access to the president is difficult that some of them don't have access to the villa so a lot of excuses were just coming up we were persistent we told them we will be patient we will wait till midnight today right. in that same venue but they were not forthcoming uh, they were just being dismissal so when we looked at this we felt that no they are not really serious about this and we have to proceed on the indefinite strike action from monday